the Samaritans, an ancient community that's resided in what is now called the West Bank since biblical times. The sect practices a religion that is similar to Judaism, but with one major difference. The Samaritans believe that God commanded the ancient Israelites to build the temple on Mount Gerizim. This is the difference between them and the Jews, whose holiest site is the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. The Samaritans traced their ancestry to the ancient Israelite tribes of Ephraim, Manasseh, and Levi. In fact, their high priest claims to be a direct descendant of Moses' brother Aaron. The high priest is selected based on age, around 80, 85 years old. It has nothing to do with elections. Since Aaron, 132 high priests have passed. Like the ancients did before me, I will carry on the protection of the community. Once numbering one million people, the Samaritans were almost wiped out at the turn of the 20th century, after hundreds of years of persecution and forced conversions. Today, only 800 members remain, half of whom have left the village of Kiryat Luza in the northern West Bank, searching for economic prosperity in the Israeli city of Holon. This means most Samaritans possess Israeli and Palestinian ID papers. One of the biggest problems they face how to sustain a tiny population while keeping their traditions alive. One of the most noticeable challenges in the community is probably marriage, because there are more males than females in the community. In fact, the, the ratio I remember last time, that was maybe seven years ago, uh, it was two males to one female in the community, which means that some males will not have Samaritan females to marry. This is a challenge, especially because there is a rule that if you want to marry from outside, the, the woman has to become a Samaritan. For outsider women, becoming a Samaritan involves strict religious rituals, like observing the Sabbath and upholding ritual purity. For example, during her menstrual period, a Samaritan woman is forbidden from coming into physical contact with anyone. Today we have about 10 from Ukraine who became Samaritans and who are actually, you know, who are loving the community here and who did have a, maybe at first some um, difficulties, but it really gets easier as time passes by and as it becomes a part of your life. Three times per year, they make a pilgrimage to the top of their holy mountain, including Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. On this holiday, Samaritans decorate their homes with citrus fruits and welcome their Palestinian and Jewish neighbors for festive meals. We are a bridge of peace for all the nations. What does this mean? Jews, Muslims, Christians and the Druze all come here and sit, have a dialogue with each other, and there are no political or religious arguments between them. We always act as a bridge between communities. From Mount Grizim, Maya Margit, reporting for the Media Line.